We are here again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for the special comeback. Comeback special. Come back to her. Come by. It's like Border Collie's training, isn't it? Come by. I went to one of those sheepdog trials, by the way. <laughs> Guilty. Anyway. You no. really did? Oh, I thought you were setting up for a great oh, joke. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, anyway, we have notes. And uh, this week's podcast, my bench isn't quite where it should be, but uh, never mind. As long as, you can, as long as you can all see me, that's the main thing. It's all this, that matters. This week's show, Lee, is brought to you by Google. Search engine of choice for the gentry since 2001. Also, Chrome Docs, the working platform without equal on, in online workspaces. We're going to be millionaires, Tim, with that kind of advertising. I just got 350 quid for that, Lee. <laughs> well done. Well, thank you very well much. Done. Also brought to you this week by Mercedes Cars, Samsung TVs and the no-name Harwood. Very good. We Purveyors. can spend that 350 quid in the no-name. <laughs> no in fact, name. Google, just send the money straight to John in the no-name. Cut out the middle, man. Speaking of Johnny Boy from the No Name, John Paul Nolan, for that is his name, recommended to me the other day Amazon Prime Lee. Ah. Oh, Amazon for, Prime. For a man in his prime, why not? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you shove it in your uh, TV, you buy the stick or whatever it's called from Amazon, then you get all these programmes. Mm. For the princely sum of, uh, well, it's six quid a month. <laughs> Hang on, it's very good. Are you getting money for this as well? <laughs> why not? Uh, also, but because specifically uh, a new series called The Man in the High Chair which is a very interesting premise, as if the Nazis won the Second World War and what America's like now, all that kind of stuff. I was just thinking of you being a big baby in a high chair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all right, Tim. Right, good. So, yes, while we're plugging things, if you've got time and this uh, nonsense is cobbled together, Microphone. maybe come down to Hennigan's and watch us be funny. We've got Steve well, Shanayaske. Steve, Steve <laughs> Shanayaske. Shanayaske. Well, good. beautiful thing. Excellent. I've oh. seen him on the telly. Yes. Very good. Along with Clayton and Roland Gent. It's going to be a great night, isn't it? Roland Gent? As you know, you came to the last one. Oh, I did. It was very good. Very good time. I recommend the food and the comedy. Thank you, Tim. I oh. could do with more ales on. You know. Yeah, well. <laughs> you can't have everything. Well, no. Good. Um, all right, Lee. Uh, we're going to do a little catch-up uh, promotion. Right. Programmes on the telly, Lee. What do you enjoy and what would you recommend to the punters? At the minute, I'm enjoying The Last Kingdom. Oh. Very enjoyable. Funnily enough, I've got that on my catch-up roundup. <laughs> Very good. Catch-up roundup, catch-up roundup, roundup. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, really, Tim. The usual, the usual. What's the... Um, no, I forgot it. <laughs> uh, no, I forgot it. Because as well as The Last Kingdom, which is very good, I've got graphics for all these already lined up. You'll see them flying past the screen, ladies and gentlemen, as you watch the programme. You're a genius. From the Cradle to the Grave, which is based on Danny Baker's autobiography. Very good. Go to iPlayer. Watch all the episodes in order. Very. It's Peter K starring as, as Danny Baker's dad. Very good. And it is very yeah. good. Um, you just got to stick with Peter K's slightly fluid relationship with the Cockney accent. But apart <laughs> from that, also on BBC, The Kennedys. One of those 70s... Families growing up, blah, 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 which has been done to death in America. This is actually very good, uh, set in um, the 70s, <laughs> again. Doesn't end with him being, his head being blown off driving a car in. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the 60s, but oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> All right, excellent. So those are our recommendations for TV, or telly, as we say in Lancashire. Yes. What else? Oh, I'm off, I'm off work for a week and a half, Lee. This is a holiday, officially, this is holiday podcast. This is what he does. You've caught him on a rare sober moment. A Everyone holiday podcast. <laughs> well, not for much longer, because I'm going meeting... Uh, remember Nick Burton? I do, meeting yes. Nick. We're having a script conference yes. there. We're both writing different things, and we always get to... Well, always. Every couple of years we get together. <laughs> uh, Nick Burton, author of the um, biography of Wainwright, the famous Lakeland Walker chap. Very good. Luke Skywalker <laughs> in the Lake District by uh, Nick Burton. Available in all good bookshops. So, Timmy's got, you've got quite a lot of newsy stuff going on. I've got oh, yeah. quite a, a little bit of observational uh, things that are going on. Sometimes I look at you and sometimes I look at you, Timmy. I realise I am quite a magnetic presence. <laughs> you are. Go I on. feel repelled by you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you polarise opinion wherever <laughs> you go. Um, well, speaking of Google, Lee, do you remember? It fills in the gaps for you. So you don't, have to, you don't actually have to type in Nicky Campbell is a... C for it to <laughs> fill the rest in for yourself. I take it it does complete that for you, doesn't it? It does. Oh, fantastic. It's amazing. <laughs> now then, Lee, I was in Sheffield the other week, and uh, there's a brand new, um, like, one of these mega police stations, like all the new ones are these days, um, on little, a fairly new development. all the little development. police stations closing down and losing the jobs. All the little bobbies. <laughs> anyway, no, great big police station in Sheffield, and the planners had a laugh because the, the, avenue, the road leading up to it is Let's Be Avenue. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> Uh, in the news, Lee, like uh, McDonald's staff 
Through a surprise 93rd birthday for a pension. A lonely widower. Oh. Oh. But they stuffed him full of McDonald's and as soon as he went outside he had a massive heart attack. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> I wonder if they put a, a red wig on the dead body and they put it in the coffin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what's the difference between procrastination and pre- prevarication? Can I come back to you on that? Yeah, I meant to look it up, <laughs> but I just never got round to it. Hey! <laughs> in other news, Lee, did you know there's a, an event in Japan called Precision Walking? Mm. Mm. Precision is because, Walking. Is that because they only have little steps? Is it, does it look cuter? <laughs> Is that what it is? They are a very precise nation, that is true. Yes. But no, I'll, I'll put a graphic up in it. But literally, walking in formation. I mean, they're not in the army or anything. They're just like walking in groups, but very, very precisely. Yes. Bizarre. Well... They're not right. It worked for the Nazis. <laughs> Man in the High Seat, or whatever it's called. Man in the High Kingdom. I'll get the name right. Um, now then, uh, catch-up news, Lee. I have something for you. Comeback news. Sorry, catch-up. Comeback news. <laughs> Did you know Danny DeVito and Schwarzenegger are, are going to do a twins sequel? Oh, bloody hell. No, I didn't know that. What's no. all that about? I don't know. I think large large sums of cash are involved, Lee. I think maybe that might be the, the prime trigger for those two. Yes. But in the same news article, the Rolling Stones are to tour Latin America for the first time in ten years. I thought, what, is that a comeback or is that a drugs run? <laughs> Keith's run out. <laughs> and the first ever Indigenous World Games opened in Brazil. Indigenous? Indigenous. <laughs> Indigenous, that means people from Brazil. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> for all these stones, drugs run, sport, drugs in sport, Lee. You can maybe get a link in there, Tim. If anybody's got a gag to go with that setup, please email it to <laughs> Lee. Please do. I'll put a note on our Facebook page, everybody. Radio Fallout. Radio Fallout, talk pods. Yeah, that's where we are. What have you bit, got, Lee? I had a bit of an incident in the office, Timmy. A, oh, a, a, sorry. A card went around and I, and I signed it. Oh, who's it for? It's for Terry. All oh, right, okay. You're not getting older, you're just getting closer to death. <laughs> nice. It turns out it was a get well card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, US astronaut believed to be the first person to play bagpipes in space. Oh. Now, there's a good reason you play bagpipes in space. You want to get as far away from noise. Yeah. In a similar it- it- item, item <laughs> homeless people in Bournemouth are being driven away by the ear piercing sound of bagpipe music. <laughs> Connections yeah. all around, yes. everyone. Yes. It's because the Scottish aren't playing. They play them in a beautiful way. Americans playing them. Oh, yeah, I know. I Are know. you just saying that because your wife's Scottish? I guess, and we have Scottish listeners, Tim. Probably not many Americans. We can offend them as much as we want. We can offend the Japanese, the Americans, <laughs> the everyone. Germans. <laughs> the Brazilians. What about the Chinese, Lee? No, no. not them. Not no, them. No, they'll hack in our account. They're in league. In <laughs> league with the Russians. Anyway, because, speaking of which, he said... There's a great big um, business in China that's going to invest $47 billion to build a chip empire. <laughs> I'm fishing for a joke, though, isn't Oh, no, <laughs> I thought. Chinese chips. Cue ad for chairs in Harwood. Ah. Purveyors of fine Chinese chips. Yes, good chips, good chips. Speaking of China, the Magna Carta's going on display in Hong Kong. Is this some kind of, you know, go- are they gold in them? Like, this is human rights. Human rights. This is where the law began. Mind yes. You. We haven't got any now, have we? we can, we've barely got the right to do this. Yes. Uh, so what else have been, I've been up to? Oh, I, I, tried, uh, I tried selling some hotcakes. Made some hotcakes, couldn't sell a one to. That's the kind, that's the kind of terrible setup and punch I deliver. But you are an excellent salesman, so that doesn't really hold water, Lee. Thank you very much. You know, your, your death card earlier. I wish, yeah. I'd, I wish I'd clocked that because I've got one here. George Barris, the man who designed the original Batmobile... Is dead. Oh. oh, so I thought, no, 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 <laughs> Dead man! <laughs> see, see, nobody knows him. That, you can oh, get away with how it. How his coffin is going to be delivered? <laughs> what other? Black coffin with wheels. <laughs> oh, come back specially. Dun, dun, dun. British band busted. Reunite 11 years after breaking up. That's what we wanted. Oh, hang on. Hang no, on. That's no, not that's not. It's the opposite of yeah. what we're... But then, in the same note, <laughs> Trapped Miners. You know those 33 Chilean miners? Yes. The film's just come out and they've rolled out the red carpet for them. It's a big film and everybody's excited about it. And I thought, hmm, would you rather spend, like, a month in a mine with 33 sweating miners or go and watch Busted play their reunion gig? <laughs> it's a close call to It is a close call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, news, I'll tell you, obviously, uh, topical news, uh, thing, things that are going on in the world. Lots of terrorism, obviously, happening at the minute, Timmy. Q, look up de- definition of topical and news. Carry on. <laughs> topical news. There, there's a link for you. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll fly one in. 
Sorry, mate, I interrupted. That's yes. unforgivable. Please That's forgive. That's all right, Timmy. Um, the Russians, of course, they've had uh, the plane shot down all over Syria. Mm. So lots of jokes about uh, Putin not looking forward to his turkey this Christmas. Um, lots of that flying around. Oh, people are sick. <laughs> uh, I think there was a, a... Needless to say in the Daily Mail, everybody, cut booze in middle age or risk dementia. What have you got to say about that, Lee? Uh... <laughs> And we're back. Welcome. Yes. Lee, have you got anything else after that commercial message? Just one more thing that I've realised after many, many years on this planet. The most important four-letter word in any relationship, Timmy. Is it love? It's make. Make? Go on. Make me my tea. Oh. <laughs> make me laugh. Make me happy. Let's make love. Let's make babies. Put some makeup on. Ah. <laughs> Let's kiss and make up. Lovely. It's much more important than four, that other four-letter word. I like that. You couldn't make it up. No, you couldn't. But well, you did. Uh, without any <laughs> any apparent signs of shame, but that's great. He's trying stuff out, that's yeah. great. Speaking of which, Hennigan's Friday the 27th, Billy, Billy Shanoyavsky and the Nazis are <laughs> alive on stage. Stormtrooping through your tie curry. Uh. Um, I've got to read some of this, and I apologise in advance because Lee knows I... By the way, that beeping is the washing machine, so... Uh, that was a pacemaker. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Thank God for that. A man who faked, be- faked being in a coma for two years to avoid a fraud trial has been jailed for fraud, along with his wife. <laughs> now, you think, it goes on. He had been accused of taking this out of, it, of 40 grand off his neighbour who had dementia. <laughs> this man's a menace. His uh, neighbour should forgive and forget. <laughs> in the wrong order. <laughs> Meanwhile, his, his wife wrote to the Prime Minister, the Deputy PM and the MPs, telling them her husband was being forced to go to court, even though he's a paraplegic and in a permanent vegetative state. Do you know anybody in a permanent vegetative state, Lee? The MPs that she was writing to, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Eventually, the lies were exposed. The lies were exposed after police found CCTV footage and picture evidence from their computer. On holiday, on trips to Legoland... <laughs> And at a friend's wedding, doing the doing the dad dance, presumably, I don't know. But doing the coma. He's got some nerve, though. Yeah. Imagine, the oh, and whenever the door... I'm not in a coma. I'm not in a coma. <laughs> and whenever the doorbell rang, he just went... Oh. I mean, that's, it was that. <laughs> anyway, Lee, before I say to you that this show was finally brought to you by an excellent website we're going to recommend, Lee. Very good. It's you called, are, I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> the Daily Mash. Oh, it's brilliant. UK. I do like it. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Two example yes. headlines from the Daily Mash... Woman thinks man is her friend. Mm. No, that never happens. <laughs> and vegetarian, 103 years old, says it wasn't worth it. Was he in a vegetative state? Eh? <laughs> uh, there we go. So we've done some plugs. We've had a little news. Uh, if you've got nothing else, Lee? No, that's the lot, Timmy. I think we've done very well. Almost unedited version. Oh. I wonder if I can slip that thing in either side of the commercial break. But either way, it's good night from him. Let's stop talking and crack on. <laughs> Ta-ta. <laughs> Cheers.